Yo, ASAP Wooly would have been a dope rap name. I mean, I'm gonna stick with Granddad. I've committed to that shit. I'm not changing. I'm just saying, though, it sounds nice. What's going on, everybody? It's the Granddad of Granddad Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of Wooly Reviews. Hip Hop Data. Today we got an album review today. We're gonna to be talking about the brand new album from one of the most popular artists out right now, straight out of Harlem. This nigga's back. He dropped some new shit out of nowhere. So we had to holler at it. Talking about ASAP Rocky at long last ASAP. Now, for those who don't know who ASAP Rocky is, like I said, he is a Harlem rapper. He came to rise around 2012, I believe, or 11, some shit like that, with his mixtape, Live Love ASAP. And then from that, he got a huge record deal big contract with RCA Polo Grounds, and he made his own label called ASAP Worldwide with his partner ASAP Yams, who unfortunately recently passed away. But they came out with the debut album in 2013, uh, Long Live ASAP, and that shit got really, really popular, a lot of critical acclaim, it did well in sales, and now two years later, he's back with the follow-up, and now we're gonna see if at long last ASAP is just as good as Le Nigga, the titles are too long. You know what I'm trying to say. The, the first one, let's see if this one's better than the, the first one, okay? Let's just not talk about this shit. Now, when I first listened to this album, the first thing that struck me was the production on here because this shit is fucking fire. All the beats and production on here are done so well. It's so lush, so layered, so many things to it. And then I realized who did this shit, and when I looked at who was doing the production on here, it made fucking sense. They got my boy Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse is one of my favorite producers. If you don't know who Danger Mouse is, look up Nas Barkley or Danger Doom or the Gorillas, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But this man, I don't, I didn't know he was back in the game. But apparently, he's doing some shit. But he is on this executive producer, and he got some beats on here and some sounds that he's done for certain records and stuff like that. But he's pretty much executive producer. He also got people like DJ Khalil, Kanye West, uh, Jim Johnson. Uh, who else on this mother? A lot of dope producers are on this album, and ASAP really brought in some heavy hitters on the production team. He even does a little production himself, and what I like about this is that not only is it so thick and layered and lush, it's got that nice, dark, gritty, grim undertone that ASAP is known for rhyming over, and it fits him perfectly, and I just love the production on here. It's just got everything that you could possibly want when it comes to ASAP Rocky style, it just fits him perfectly. And the thing about ASAP Rocky is, even though he's a New York MC, he's got a lot of Southern influence, mainly Texas and like, you know, how things are, like the Texas influence, because he actually screws his voice and stuff up like that, like the Texas people. And the way that he uses and utilizes it here with the production is fucking dope. And he just carries it over because he does it on all his albums. But on here, it's like the production went up 10 levels on all levels, and I really like the production on here, and that's probably one of the most standout parts of this album. Now let's talk about ASAP himself and see if he is up to par with this newly high-level production that he has. Now when it comes to ASAP Rock, he is not the most lyrical person in the world, but he can rap and he has a really, really good flow. I like his flow. I like how he stays in pocket with the beats. He can speed it up. He can slow it down. He can, you know, screw his voice like he does a lot on here and it just fits and sounds really good. The only thing about ASAP Rocky is that you don't expect to get a lot of substance out of his verses and out of his vocals. He lyrically, he's pretty one dimensional. He talks about the same stuff in different forms and variations, but it works for him. But basically all he talks about is doing drugs, how much money he got and spends, smashing chicks, uh, hanging out with the ASAP mob, and everything in between. He rarely sort of goes into anything that's really meat and potatoes or really something that has a lot of substance to it. He pretty much just reiterates the same things on all, across all his tracks in different variations or forms as far as it goes to his life. And that's pretty much his life. That is what ASAP Rocky's life is. It's all about that shit. So he's telling his life and he's living that life. But if you're looking for him to actually talk about something more serious or go a little bit deeper, you're not going to find that on here because that's just not who ASAP Rocky is and I don't think that's who he's going to be. He's got his own little comfort zone and his own little pocket and his own little lane and he just drives down that lane and he does it perfectly and he does what he needs to do. Now for me personally, I'm not the biggest ASAP Rocky fan and that's one of the reasons why is because I think he's got a good flow. I think he's got good you know you know appeal as far as you know picking beats and just being on the beat but i just think he lacks substance and he just has real shallow content and then when you have this great production on this shallow content it just doesn't make it go to the next level it just makes it feel like it's a bit of a 
hindrance more than anything. But other than that, like, ASAP Rocky is a dope MC. I guess he does his thing the way that he does it, and it works for him. But if you're looking for someone to really just, you know, get you on a level of, like, a Kendrick or a Cole or anything like that, ASAP's not your guy. If you're looking for someone to just talk about some fly, flashy shit and some mob shit, then ASAP is your guy. And that's sort of like, you know, you either like it or you don't. But as far as this album, it is an enjoyable listen and ASAP is entertaining the entire way through. And I got nothing really more to say about that. But another thing that did stand out to me on this album is the features that ASAP brought onto here. He's got a wide range of features from different genres and different every fucking walk of the world of music. And they all come together. And I don't know how he did it, but he did it. But he's got everybody from Lil Wayne to Juicy J to UGK, actual UGK with Pimp C included. Rest in peace, Pimp C. Also, he's got Rod Stewart. Like, you get Rod Stewart on the album and you got Most Def on the album, or Yasin Bey now. And he's also got Schoolboy Q. He's got Joe Fox, who's singing on here while he's a singer, but he's like on a lot of songs. James Fonsleroy is on here. And that's just to name a few, but he's got a lot of features on here, but the features here really... They really do do their job, and it doesn't feel like you're getting more features than ASAP. You still get the good majority of ASAP on this album. And as far as, like, you know, the features on here, most of them sing except for, like, you know, Kanye does a verse on here, and he does what Kanye does. Schoolboy does a dope verse. Lil Wayne killed his verse. I don't care what anybody said. That motherfucker went off on that verse. That was one of the most impressive Wayne verses I've heard in a while. So big ups to Wayne on that one. You need to do more of that shit, nigga. And, you know, most Death's verse is most Death. Of course, he's going to drop some fire. And UGK, it was good to hear Bun being Pimp C on the record. And it just, uh, it was a lot of good moments as far, as far as the features were concerned on this album that really made it shine and stand out. It's just ASAP Rocky himself that just could not hold his own with the content and, you know, take it to another level. Because ASAP Rocky just does what he does. And it's entertaining. It's good to listen to. But it's nothing that, for me personally, draws me in to really be invested in ASAP Rocky as an artist to want to be, like, a super, super fan of him. But I do respect what he's doing, and I like what he's got going on. Now, you know I got to give him a top five tracks, but actually I got a little bit more than five today. But let me, I'm, I'm sort of kind of ready. I'm getting better, y'all. But I'm going to name my top five tracks. I'm not going to really break them down too much because it's, it's quite a few of them. But I'm just going to name the ones that really stood out to me the most. Uh, and they are Holy Ghost featuring Joe Fox, Canal Street featuring Bones, uh, LSD, uh, Lord Flacco, Jody 2, uh, hold on, I'm going down the list, um, Wavy Bone, featuring Juicy J and UGK, um, M's, featuring Lil Wayne, and then Every Day, featuring, Ro Ro Every Day, featuring Rod Stewart, Miguel, and Mark Ronson, and then the last track, Back Home, featuring Most Def, um, a seed and an ASAP Yams who does sort of like the outro of the album, which is kind of dope. And I like the the music that they got in the background when he's doing the, the outro. And those are my top tracks. Like I guess I'm not going to really break them down because for the most part, they're all pretty much generally, you know, the same realm of what ASAP Rocky talks about. But those are the ones that I felt were the most entertaining as far as on a production standpoint, the way that Rocky flows and raps with the features coming in. And that these are the standout tracks of the album. And this is for the most part, a solid album. I think the only thing that really takes back from this album is the things I said before, and not only that, but I'm also not the hugest ASAP Rocky fan, so this didn't really make me any more of an ASAP Rocky fan, but I do like and enjoy this album just like I like the first album he dropped and also the Live Love ASAP mixtape. It's pretty much the same thing. as I'm on that same line with him. It's not going up or down, but I do appreciate the increase in production level in here, and having Danger Mouse on here is really dope. But for the most part, it's a really, really high quality, solid album, but it's just missing it from me being like, yo, I love this album. But I really, really like it for the most part for the production and the features. But ASAP has his moments on here too, and I really, really like the album. So my final verdict, I'm not saying that ASAP Rocky at long last ASAP is an overall very, very good album, minus the fact that ASAP sort of is one dimensional with his content and his lyricism, but it does have some really, really great production Features on here are dope, and it's a good wide variety, and it is an enjoyable listen, but you won't get much out of it that I feel where it's going to be something that's really going to stand the test of time or anything or be like a really big fixture in hip-hop. It's just a really, really good album that was put together really, really well. There's no real cohesion or concept to it. It's just a lot of good-sounding songs that, you know, will be entertaining to listen to, but you probably won't get any more out of it than a good listen or a good hear out of it. But for me, I got to say that ASAP Rocky... At long last ASAP is not 100% granted approved, but I will give it 
a very highly granddad recommended. So go check it out. It's out right now. You can listen to it, and I think if you're an ASAP Rock, you're an ASAP Mob fan, you're going to love this album. And if you've never heard of them, check this album out. You're going to be impressed, and you may become a fan. But for me, I just think it lacks a little bit of substance and a little bit of depth to it to really make it a really, really great album. But it is a very, very good album and a good follow-up. And I think this is what's going to cement, I mean, it's pretty much cementing ASAP Rocky as someone who's going to be here. I think he's gonna not going to get that sophomore slump. He's going to go to the next album and he's going to stick with that fan base. He's got core fans. They're going to love this album. And hey, he did another one and it's a good job. So I got nothing more to say. ASAP Rocky at Long Last ASAP is very highly granddad recommended. Flip it. All right, guys, it's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and drop a comment. Tell me what you think of ASAP Rocky at Long Last ASAP if you've heard it. If you haven't heard it, like I said, it is a very good album. Production is immaculate. Features are really good. And even though ASAP Rocky, like I said, doesn't have the greatest lyrics in the world, he can rap and he gives you some entertaining content and I think you're going to enjoy it. It just didn't take it over the top for me. But check it out. Previous video was on the side as well as my music video. Check those out. Show them some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. Will of Reviews. Twice a week. Game and channel. Check that out. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time I take my leave. Granddaughter. ASAP Rocky at long last ASAP. I should have changed my name to ASAP before they came along. But it's cool. Granddad's fine. I'm not mad about that. I'm just saying. It sounds nice. It really does. I'm out of here.